I'm Dietrich from Pisces Pet Emporium. We got a few requests online for some general care tips on seahorses, so I'm here to tell you about them today. So here at Pisces Pet Emporium, we have two varieties of seahorses. They're both captive raised in uh, Sri Lanka, and the two kinds that we have are we have the yellow seahorses and we also have the tiger tail seahorses. Now they're very similar. The only the major difference in the two is that the yellows get to about six inches, while the tiger tails only get to about four to five inches. Now some basic tips for uh, seahorses are that they are not good for community tanks. Seahorses do best in about a, at least a 20 gallon tank uh, destined for themselves only and they like lots of low flow but they need tons of places that they can grab onto. As you can see in our tank we have gorgonian fans and also live rock that they can attach their tails onto so they have a good grip. Without those grips they'll just float around the tank and they'll get very stressed out. The dietary requirements for seahorses is pretty specific since they can be quite finicky eaters. They usually will not eat any dry or pre-prepared food sources, so you usually have to rely on either live or uh, frozen thawed food sources. Um, things like brine shrimp and mysis shrimp, they'll usually readily take, and if they aren't, you can always mix them in with a little bit of garlic guard to help um, entice them to eat it more. Now, mysis shrimp is the better of the two to feed because it does have a higher protein content in it, but since it, it does come in larger chunks, sometimes when they're small, they will only go after brine shrimp. Now, they also have to be fed about two to three times a day if you really want them to gain weight, to keep on their weight and grow fast. Now then, the lighting requirements for seahorses is pretty basic. Since they themselves don't really rely on any photosynthetic qualities, they can, it's mostly just whatever corals you have in with them that require the lighting. So even basic lighting can be fine for seahorses as long as you still have lots of stands and things for them to hold on to. If you found this, this video informative or would like to have an, some information on any other pets you might have, please be sure to follow the links below or come on down into the store and we'll be able to give you a hand. filming for that. Yeah, I did.